welcome everyone i am dr rajesh singh and in this video we will solve question number 11 to question number 15 of exercise for section 4.2 of the book batal and shabat in my previous videos i have solved question number 1 to 10 so let's start with question number 11 so in question number 11 we have to determine whether the following limit exist in each case a to d so let us start with part a of question number 11 so we have to show in fact we will claim that limit x tends to 0 sin 1 by x square does not exist in r so this will we this we will show so for this we will construct two sequences so we will we know that sin of so general solution for sin t equal to 0 is t is equal to n pi where n belongs to n in fact n belongs to a, n can be an integer but we want just natural numbers because we want to construct sequences and sin t is equal to 1 if t is equal to n pi plus pi by 2 and belonging to n so this result we will use to construct sequences so let x n equal to you take the reciprocal of this t 1 by root t so i will take 1 by root n pi for all n belonging to n and y n equal to 1 by root n pi plus pi by 2 2 n pi so 2 n pi plus pi by 2 for all n belonging to n then this xn so sin and let fx equal to sin 1 by x square for all n for all x not equal to 0 so then then it is easy to see that x n converges to 0 y n converges to 0 f of x n is equal to 0 for all n belonging to n and f of y n is equal to 1 for all n belonging to n thus we have constructed two sequences x n and y n in r x n not equal to 0 y n not equal to 0 such that x n converges to 0 y n converges to 0 but the corresponding sequences f of x n converges to different limit f of x n and f of y n converges to different limit so by sequential criteria for limit by sequential criteria for limits limit x tends to 0 sin 1 by x square does not exist in r so this proves part 1 of question number 11 now let us do its b part so in b part we have to show we will show that limit x tends to 0 x sin 1 by x square is equal to 0 so for this we will take any arbitrary epsilon so let epsilon greater than 0 be any real number and consider x sin 1 by x square minus 0 so this can be written as 
x sin 1 by x square now I will take use the property of moduli to get this and then because the value of sign lies between minus 1 and 1 so mod sign is always less than equal to 1 so I will use that fact and I will get this since mod sine theta is less than equal to 1 for all theta so this result I have used so I have replaced this by 1 so I am getting this greater than sine now this can be expressed in terms of x minus 0 so I can take let delta equal to epsilon then 0 less than x minus 0 less than delta implies x sine 1 by x square minus 0 is less than epsilon. Hence, by definition of limits, limit x tends to 0, x sine 1 by x square is equal to 0. So this completes B part of question number 11. Now let us start with C part. In C part we have, we have to determine whether limit x tends to 0 signum function of sin 1 by x exists or not. So we will claim limit x tends to 0 signum function of sin 1 by x does not exist in R. So for this again we will construct two sequences so we will use the same fact which we used in the part A. So we will let so now because this is x so we will not take the under root we will just take let x n equal to 1 by n phi for all n belonging to n and y n equal to 1 by 2 n phi plus phi by 2 for all n belonging to n. Then xn converges to 0, yn converges to 0, right? So let fx equal to signum function of sin 1 by x for all x not equal to 0. Then f of xn is equal to signum function of sin 1 by xn. This is equal to signum function of sin n pi and sin n pi is nothing but 0 and signal function of 0 is 0. So this implies f of xn is equal to 0 for all n belonging to n. Now let us try to find out f of yn. So f of yn is signal function of sin 1 by yn and signal function of sin 1 by yn is sin 2n pi plus pi by 2 and this is nothing but signum function of 1 and this is again 1. So we have got two sequences xn and yn both converging to 0 but their corresponding sequences f of xn and f of yn converges to different limit. Thus we have got two sequences xn and yn in R with xn not equal to 0, yn not equal to 0 such that xn converges to 0, yn converges to 0 but the corresponding sequences f of xn and f of yn converges to different limits. So by definition, by sequential criteria for limits, limit x tends to 0 signum function of sin 1 by x does not exist in R.
12. So in this question, we have been given that f is a function such that it satisfies the property f of x plus y equal to fx plus fy for all x y in R. And we, if we will assume that limit x tends to 0, f is equal to L, then in that case we have to show that L is equal to 0. And further we have to prove that f has limit at every point c belonging to R. So the hint is also given that we, we can use f of 2x equal to 2fx and f of x equal to f of x minus c plus f of c for all c in R. So we will use two results from section 4.1. These were the exercise questions from section 4.1. So we will be going to use the two results. So first result is this. So we will use that if f is a function from R to R and has limit L at 0. And if we define g equal to f of ax for every x in R, then limit x tends to 0, gx is also equal to L. And the other result that we are going to do uh, use is this result. This is question number 4 from exercise 4.1. This I have already done in one of my videos. So those who want to see the proof of these two results, they can see my video on section 4.1. So I am going to use the two results. So this result we will use to prove this fact that limit L is equal to 0 and then we will use this result to prove that F has limit at every point C belonging to R. So let us start the proof. So we are given that F of X plus Y is equal to Fx plus Fy and limit x tends to 0 f is equal to l to show what we have to show first we have to show l is equal to 0 this is and then second we have to show that limit x tends to c f exists for every c belonging to r so these two results we are going to prove so let us prove first prove that L is equal to 0. So now consider for any x f of 2x this can be written as f of x plus x then using the hypothesis I can write it as f of x plus f of x and this is nothing but 2 fx. Now the taking limit we get limit x tends to 0 f of 2x is equal to limit x tends to 0 to fx. Now using this result I can because limit x tends to 0 f is equal to L so limit x tends to 0 f of 2x is also equal to L. So this is equal to L and this is equal to 2L. So this implies L is equal to 2L since limit f of 2x is equal to L using 13 from exercise 4.1. So this we have used here. So L equal to 2L implies L is equal to 0. So this proves first part. So now we will prove the next part. So in next part for next part let C belonging to R be any real number. And consider for any x belonging to R f of x. So this is f of x can be written as f of x minus c plus c. And now by using hypothesis because f of x plus y is equal to fx plus fy. So using that hypothesis this is equal to f of x minus c plus f of c. So this implies f of x is equal to f of x minus c plus f of c. Now taking limit as x tends to c we get what we get limit x tends to c f of x is equal to limit x tends to c f of x minus c plus and this is nothing but 
fc because this is constant so this term is constant so it is independent of the limit x tends to c so this we have got now we will use this fourth part of exercise 4.1 so it says that limit x tends to c fx equal to l if and only if limit x tends to 0 f of x plus c is equal to l so i will use this result so using question 4 of exercise 4.1 we get limit x tends to c fx is equal to this limit x tends to 0 f of x minus c plus c and plus fc so we have used this fact that limit x tends to c fx is equal to limit x tends to 0 f of x plus c so we have used this result here so what is this this is nothing but limit x tends to 0 f of x plus f of c and limit x tends to 0 f of x is equal to l plus fc and l is 0 so this is equal to fc since l is equal to 0 so thus limit x tends to c f of x is equal to fc so this we have proved so we have shown thus the existence of limit so this completes question number 12 in the next video i will solve question number 13 14 and 15 till then stay tuned and subscribe to our youtube channel for more such videos and for further updates thank you